But first, let's talk about what's hot now. Country star Kelly Pickler's new reality show premiered last night. I Love Kelly Pickler is the name of it. It follows her relationship with her husband, songwriter, producer, Kyle Jacobs. But different than most reality shows, the couple has promised to keep this one drama free. Now, I know you love Kelly Lance, but do you think do. this is going to work without drama? Uh, I actually do. You know, on CMT, they, they know their market there. And Kelly's just so freaking cute. She reminds <laughs> me of, you know, Jessica Simpson back in the day had a reality show, and it was pretty drama free. It was all about comedy. And, you know, I did. Except I did that a question about Chicken from the Sea. That produced well, a lot that of. Was that funny. was drama. That, yeah, that, that was funny as and hell. And that I mean, relationship didn't end well, well for her and Nicole I mean, Shea. it's well, true. Well, reality television, I think. They want the drama. Person. You know, I did an E special last year for my wedding, and, uh, and they wanted drama. They kept saying, we need drama, we need drama. But I'm telling you, I was telling them, you just, comedy is all you need, and we just went with comedy, and it turned out great. That's all you need. But comedy. I have a question for you. Yes. I know you like some Real Housewives. Yes. And I know you like some Bachelor. Yeah. So well, don't you? Yeah. Are, are you going to binge watch this, or would you rather watch a little bit of drama? I don't know. Would I like a little bit of drama? Because that's why I'm watching these shows because they're silly, and I think they're made up, and we so all know silly. they're kind of like make believe a little I bit. I think all she's drama so setup. silly, it's going to work. But majority of people, they want to see that drama. I, I mean, that's the reason they keep doing that. show called Funny Girls, and it was on Oxygen, and um, it's playing right now in Canada, actually. And uh, we didn't have any drama. I mean, we had like the you know girls kind of wanting the guys. We're all kind of single, but we had our careers. So I think sometimes when you follow someone that has a career like Kelly does, it's easy to just live through their lives versus someone who may just be, you know, not have a career or something that's in the limelight and they have to create drama. So I think this is going to be great. I can't wait to watch it. I think she's like amazing. Living yeah. 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 Speaking of drama, Megan, you are dealing with some serious issues in your family right now with your daughter. Yeah, I'm dealing, I don't know if a lot of moms out there, my, I have a four-year-old daughter and she's um, being bullied by someone, a little girl yeah, four, um, and, at four. Crazy. And I witnessed it for the first time because my daughter would come home and say stuff has happened to her. Yeah. And I sort of, you know, with the toddler, half it's half the truth, half the other truth, and the in, in the middle lies the real truth. And I said, oh, she's just being a four-year-old. Something is happening. But I witnessed it at a party, and I sort of was taken back, and I said, ah, she's telling the truth. And I need to help. Did you intervene with that? I intervened with the little girl because I witnessed it. Right. I was very nice to the little girl and I, I, you know, sort of diffused the bomb. But as a parent, I'm sort of want to ask you guys. I'm like, what well, do know, I do? I'm not, I'm not a parent, but you and I spoke about this because but I know you're a you, person, so you can help me. Yeah, I'm a per, I'm not. I'm a person. I'm not. I, well, I spoke to my friend the other day at giving parent advice. I have no kids, and I was worried about her kids. And I said, don't worry about it. As long as they don't wind up in the Hunger Games, they're gonna be all right. So my parent <laughs> advice is all wrong. But I respect but, you, so I need right, some help. But I knew that you were very passionate about that, and I felt your attention with that, and I felt so afraid for you because I know how bad that is. My advice, I think, may be a little aggressive because I said, you talk to the mother and you tell her, listen, there's a problem with your daughter. If you don't handle it, then I'm going to handle you. And that's how I would handle it. <laughs> hey, hey, Megan. I don't like hot but I, don't, I, I You're the first person I came to with this because yes. I came into work very upset about it. And I said, I don't know how to defuse this bomb because my kid's around this kid all the time. And I want to say something, and I don't know how to say it. Do you know the mother? Yes, I do. do. And yes, is the I do. bullying happening socially outside of school or in the classroom? Because I think if it's happening in the classroom, you kind of have to go through the avenues that the administration provides first before you go to them personally. So where is it? Is it happening in it's both places? Both. Yeah. yeah. And so you have both. to tackle both ends. Yeah. Yeah. Are you afraid to confront the mother because now you have to see her daily? Yeah, you're, I'm with this person all the time. Uh, is the mother a bully herself? Oh no, no. I, 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 no a little be bit. Honest, be honest. The apple don't fall too far from yeah, the tree, and I'm telling you, get rid of that tree. I just want to say, I know people, I, I, anyone at home's dealing with this, I get very nervous about it, yeah, and I'm getting, it gives me anxiety because I feel for my kid, and I want to stand up for my kid, and I, I am the mama bear, and I sort of don't know what to do. Yeah. So I'm just I'm telling you, yeah. you, better, you better let uh, a nanny yams or whatever I was the last super time I was yams. super yeah. yams. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. She is coming. Yeah. I, I, I think you. <laughs> I think when your child is this little, you and I can see how upset it makes you. Yeah. yeah. I'm upset yeah. because I'm just I'm not a confrontational yeah. person. And but anyone on this panel knows that I care a lot. And but when you see your kid a little bit, yeah, you're I like, know. but I God. Think, do it for your kid. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the only thing you can do is talk to her. Yeah, it's so stupid. I'm sorry. No, it's not stupid. It's painful. It's painful. I came in very charged up at work saying, I want to do something and I don't know how to do it. I felt helpless. I just can't believe you have to deal with this at four years old. Yeah. Well, my kids are all out in the world now, and one of them, I was checking something on the internet, and this person is a professional now, my child, and very nasty comment, very cruel, and everything in me wanted to respond. I said, no, I'm just going to ignore it because whoever wrote that's a jackass so yes. yeah, that's that's my mindset <laughs> yes. you that's know funny. but but you never get over that you never get over that yeah. so. but i want to we'll, teach her we'll that get she, her. We'll get her i just want to teach her, her that she can stand up for herself and there's a way to do it i tell her to tell the person to stand back or go to an adult mm -hmm. when it happens i tell her use your arms and say stand back or go to an adult and tell him, because I'm not around to protect her all the time. That's what I'm trying that's to say. That's great. You know what? That's great advice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's great advice. Back, yeah. everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> back, back now, I mentioned my, my child and the nastiness that was posted about him or her. What would you do if you posted a photo of your child on social media and someone made fun of it? Well, that happened. Singer Solange Knowles, Beyonce's sister, she posted a photo of her 11-year-old son, Halloween's costume, really cute, on Instagram. She was shocked to see someone comment, Quote, so cute, but at the same time, he ugly. Which is so she decided not to ignore her. She responded and she wrote, among other things, just as I thought it was safe to share pictures again, a youngin like you decides to use her time to spread ugliness. Mm -hmm. And she just left it at that and has since deleted the post. Yeah. For me, I think what I, I was really passionate about this because I follow Beyonce and I follow Solange and I'm like their third sister they don't know about. <laughs> and I love seeing the children and, and I know it's I know she's done this before where she's very protective of her son as she should be. And I think it's it sucks that someone made a comment like that because the boy is beautiful. I mean that was just a hater. That's you know and there's so many people but that like that you hate. Weren't beautiful. Why do you say that no, about of course, a child? Yeah. You'll be surprised. I mean yeah. I get all kinds of things because I'm very vocal, so people come at me very vocally about how they don't like me. I get a lot of love, but I get a lot of hate also. Yeah. But I'm a human being. Sometimes, if you come to my inbox, I may respond back to you. you do, so, by the way, just, you did. And, and you I do. I, now, I will example. say God bless you, but sometimes the God ain't right behind me, so I'll say some other things. <laughs> so, like, you know, so you can hate yeah. Human beings, you know, you get, you feel some kind of way you're misunderstood or you feel like someone is attacking you. We are human beings. You can't look at people and see them on television but or they're lying like at all. That's, see, that's have, my yeah, point. Yeah, I have the opposite reaction. Okay. I want to like throw down with them in right. my heart, but my mom has a saying about like people in her life or people making mean comments and it's just delete, delete, delete. And like that's yeah. what I go around doing all the time. I sometimes see a comment, you delete, delete, delete. Sometimes I delete, sometimes yeah. I comment. My thing is, I believe you want to curse me, I'm going to bless you so I can get my blessing. And that's how I do it. All right. All right, this next topic, actually, Yamanika, I want your take on this. If you're single, but you have a boyfriend, and you'd like that boyfriend to become your husband, what do you do? Well, there's an essay in a recent Jezebel.com post that says if he doesn't ask you to marry him, either issue an ultimatum or ask the guy to marry you. Is flipping the script a good option? Mm. I, well, here's the mm. thing. Oh, y'all look at me. <laughs> no, I mean, I would, I, I want, I'm, I am very single. If somebody wants to propose to me right now, I'm ready. Um, but I would, I would, I want that moment of like, I've dreamt about this since I was a kid, like a guy swooping off of a plane with a ring. That's and a very rose. dramatic. Well, I love the drama. Like, you know, I want that fantasy. So I wouldn't propose to a man. I don't think that it's wrong, but here's one of the things that I do say. If you're a woman and you're with a man and he hasn't proposed to you, then maybe he's not that into you. Move on to somebody else who's going to jump up and propose to you right know, away. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think a lot of people get together very young, you know, in college or in high school, and they have long relationships and they're waiting to establish themselves in their career, establish themselves financially before they kind of make that huge decision to be partners. I think this, you know, for me, I, I was proposed to, and I, and I agree How with you, I'm take? a little bit nine months. I mean, it was different, um, but I've seen friends go through this. You know, it's taken years and years. And I think that as women, if we want to be on equal footing with men and you're in this situation, you kind of have to be prepared to do away with, like, the fantasy of an engagement well, or a proposal. Well, it took you nine months, right? And let's get rid of the idea that only men can get down on one knee. Like, girl, put a ring on it. Like, you get to pick well, out your own ring. But it took you <laughs> nine months. It. What if it took him nine, what if it took him nine years to propose you? Because nine months is really short. You know, and number one, I'm not young. I'm getting yeah. up there. So I'm, you know, you oh, gotta date know. me, Thanks. date one, date two, the <laughs> ring, date three, a baby. You know what I mean? That's my <laughs> to find the right partner. So if it's the right person, in my situation, my husband is the right person. 
I would have waited for him for but a really long time. But if you an ultimatum, you better be careful because then, no. yeah. Because uh, yeah. the time when it yeah. comes up and it doesn't come, but then ladies, you're in let's trouble. get real. Y'all have been really doing the proposal this whole entire time because I know all my all my girlfriends. <laughs> they picked out the ring. They keep hitting around. So y'all are the ones building the proposal in the first place. I didn't do let's any of that. I didn't. Was that a total surprise for you? It, no, because we had been together three years and we were not going to get married necessarily. We were living together, but it was the we knew we wanted kids. And Did so it was very much that? of a sort of a business thing. Well, I don't, that sounds God. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a business. But I mean, we were sort of thinking about it methodically. Did and you have that fantasy of a dream proposal your whole life, though? I never a, really did. Some women I, just I don't just care didn't. for that. It depends on the person. Yeah, have and I have no problem with it. But ours was more, well, should we, should we just do this? And do yeah, it. okay, let's do it. And three months later, we were married. See, we three did. months, nine months, when a man wants you, he wants you, he'll propose. Move on. All right.